We're here at the National Museum of Computing, which is on the Bletchley Park Estate, and this is the home of working, restored computers in the UK. What we're doing today is running a race on machines from eight generations. That's from the 1940s onwards. We needed to find a task for each of the machines that, that they could do. What we've asked them to do is produce numbers in what's called the Fibonacci series. It starts with zero and one, and the next is the sum of the previous two digits. So we go zero, one, three, five, eight, and so on. So it's very, very simple arithmetic, and it's the sort of thing anyone can actually do on pen and paper and that's the same task for all the machines. You might think it was completely obvious that the, the most modern machine will win, but I think there are some dark horses there that may well come through at the finish line. The earliest machines from 1940s, now the workhorse for computing in the 1940s was a mechanical calculator, the sort of calculator you needed to crank by hand. For the 1950s, we have the Harwell computer, now this was developed at the Atomic Energy Authority in Harwell in the, in the late 40s and 50s. Very reliable, absolutely predictable, but desperately slow. Coming up to the 1960s, we have the, the mini computer. So we have transistors now, so we have transistorized computers. By the time we get to the 70s, we've got people like Apple and Commodore and Atari appearing. So we have an Apple II, which is a very classic machine from the 70s. Something that people in the UK will remember from the early 80s is the BBC Micro. We use BBC Micros in the museum a lot for teaching. In the 90s, we're into Windows and PCs. So we're running Windows 95 and Excel. For the noughties is the BBC Microbit, which is a very tiny computer sold for, for, produced for schools. And we have young Connie, who's nine, and has written the program that we need, same program as everybody else, uh, to the Microbit. I think she's the bookie's favorite for this as well. And then finally, uh, we have somebody using an iPhone and using Siri. Now that should be frankly hysterical. I don't, I don't know how far they will get. The winner was really quite a surprise. The rider was young Connie, who's only nine years old, and it's running on the BBC Microbit. And she uh, achieved 6,843 numbers in the Fibonacci series. And she's by a clear margin the winner in the competition. It's been a very special day. It also celebrates the 10th anniversary of the museum being open to the public. And we've come a long way over 10 years. And having working machines and welcoming new members is, is, is vital. And we've had a huge number of people here today to support the museum. And I suspect we will probably do this each year on the anniversary of the museum. 